I think everybody accepts, by and large, uh, amongst the public, that it's necessary to leave Afghanistan with honour and dignity, not just because uh, of our own reputation, but because of the commitment of NATO and the international community. Um, I think if one goes back uh, two or three years, we had the same attitude towards Iraq. And suddenly with the surge uh, and with the uh, awakening of the um, Sunni community, we suddenly had a tipping point where the campaign suddenly came good. I think the same will occur in Afghanistan. I don't think we've got the strategy right yet, but we need to articulate that strategy properly to the British public. We need to see positive gains uh, in getting the country sorted out and its people settled and easy with themselves. Once we do that, the British public will have the staying power. If we continue not to achieve objectives uh, or, or any sort of substantial progress, I think the British public will lose patience, not just because of the psychological impact, but also the financial impact as well. Um, if we do not have that staying power, we will rue the day, in my judgment. This must be seen through, and we talk about Afghanistan because, of course, it's where soldiers are fighting and and uh, and dying in some cases, and therefore it's very, very germane to the country. But when you look at the strategic uh, picture, you've got to bring Pakistan into this as well. They are neighbours. Pakistan is going through a very difficult uh, period. It was almost inevitable, I think, that sooner or later Pakistan would have to grip the Taliban problem, internal Taliban problem, let alone the one uh, which lies in Afghanistan. Um, and so I think the outcome of what is going on is absolutely vital to not only our future security, but much of the, the world as well. Um, it is a very fundamental struggle. We must prevail. Our opponents, I have heard, have used the rather chilling phrase, pointing to a Westerner's watch, saying, you have the watches, we have the time. Uh, and we must match that strategic endurance. Yeah, Afghanistan is a difficult point at which to open a new government. The degree to which both the government and indeed the electorate have the staying power necessary will depend on, I guess, three things. One, do they believe in the rightness of the cause? Do they see it as relevant? And I think pretty much they do. Uh, secondly, uh, to what extent is it deemed to be a priority against the call on other resources? And that starts to get difficult. Within defence, undoubtedly main effort. But across other uh, calls on resources, then very hard to answer that until you see the way in which recession shapes up or whatever. Uh, thirdly, of course, there is the degree to which uh, the British appetite for uh, maintaining stoicism around the number of casualties exists. And again, uh, the, the history would suggest that provided the cause is seen as just, then that is regarded as solid. But in all of that, the UK public support for their armed forces is probably higher than it's ever been. So yes, I think taken together there is a staying power for that. But there'll be a lot of questions about, well, what next?